So in this video, I'm going to be solving a question that's related to polygons and also angle properties of circles. Oops, sorry, forgot to erase this. So my apologies. Okay, so and this is from May June 2020, paper two, variant one. So let's get straight to it. So it says the diagram shows a quadrilateral and part of a regular octagon. So regular octagon should instantly hit you that all the angles and all the sides are going to be of the same value. Form in a B is a straight line. So why is the question telling us that AB is a straight line? Well, there may be a reason behind that. We'll find out in a minute. Form an equation in X and solve it to find X. Okay, now you should have your formulas for polygons revised. I mean, they should be at, the, uh, at, at your fingertips by now. So the question here has been kind enough to give us this 135, but even if the question hadn't, we could have worked it out on our own. Why? Uh, we know that this is a regular octagon. So the formula for calculating each interior angle is N minus two into 180 upon N. Uh, I have, like I said, I have an introductory video. You guys should definitely check it out. So this basically means that all the other angles that you see are also going to be 135. And the fact that the question told us that AB is a straight line means that we can work out this angle, which is going to be 45 degrees. Now I have how many angles? One, two, three, four. And this, by the way, is a quadrilateral. So that means that the sum of interior angles is going to be 360. So 180 minus 135 equals to 45 degrees all right so this is something that we worked out now 45 plus 3x plus 103 plus x plus 20 are the four angles of a quadrilateral of this particular quadrilateral which is equal to 360 so 4x equals to let's work this out 45 plus 103 plus 20 360 minus answer is 192 x is equals to 192 divided by 4 which means that x is equals to 48 degrees and how many marks do you get what you get three marks okay that's pretty cool to be honest anyway so here's part b let's see what it says this by the way is a bit of angle properties and also angle properties of circles okay p q r s and t are points on the circumference of a circle center o okay so make sure that you keep looking at the circle also simultaneously p s q equals to 32 okay that's great uh, and O lies on TQ, okay. PS is parallel to QR and QR is equals to QS, okay. Find PQT, give a reason for each step of your working. Let's see how many marks, so three marks. So PQT, so let's have a look at PQT. PQT is this angle, okay. Now, first things first, this angle will be 90 degrees. Why? Is it because does it, it looks like a 90 degree angle? No, Th this is because it is opposite the diameter notice that tq is passing through the center okay the reason why i know that is because it has o written on it so that means it is definitely passing through the center and p is the angle that's opposite the diameter so this is equal to 90 degree and why is that because it is opposite the diameter so again be very specific no need to write a lot of uh, no, no need to be very elaborate just be specific and to the point okay next is that something tells me that this angle will also be 32 degrees now what's the property the property is same segment okay again i have a bit detailed videos on angle properties of circles make sure to check it out so ptq angle p t q is equal to 32 degrees and why is that because of the property called same segment okay some of you call this the butterfly property because this is what I mean this kind of looks like a butterfly but that's not something that we mentioned in the exam okay because that's not what it's officially called it's called same segment okay but that just kind of makes it easy for us to remember okay now with that uh, what else can we work out in fact that's that's enough for us to work out pqt so all we got to do is whoops we got to do 180 minus 90 minus 32 so let's work this out 180 minus 90 minus 32 so that's going to be 58 degrees there you go 58 it is that's a correct answer okay then you have qrs so that's a two mark question that means uh, you got to show some some working okay so qrs let's first identify what that angle is what this angle is going to be so it's this angle now remember that we have a pair of parallel lines in this question so having a pair of parallel lines basically means that we are likely to have alternating angles so this angle right here will also be 32 degrees and because QRS is an isosceles triangle, so this angle will also be 32 degrees. So what exactly are we going to do here? This is what we're going to state that P, sorry, SQR is equal to 32. SQR is equal to 32 because of alternating angles. So make sure that you mention that. And then you can work out 180 minus 32 minus 32 angle QRS, which let's see what it's going to be. 
180 minus 32 minus 32, so that's 116. And that is the correct answer. Then you have TQS. So let's see, where is T? There you are. Where is Q? There you are. And S. Okay, so that means we're talking about this angle, TQS. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. Okay, now this angle is going to be 90 degrees. Why? Because it's opposite the diameter. And if you notice, let me use a different color. TQRS is basically what? Is basically a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. Now, again, you don't, it's not important that you use this property. This is something that just clicked to me instantly. I'm sure there may be another property also that we can use here. But again, this is what I would prefer because this is something that clicked to me instantly. So here's A. Okay. And this entire angle is something we can find out by simply doing 90 plus 32. So I'll do it over here. 90 plus 32 plus A is equals to 180 degrees. Now, what exactly is the property that I'm using? Cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with all four of its vertices touching the circumference and angles, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is basically equal to 180. Okay, I just realized I made an error here. So 90 plus 32 plus A plus 32, okay, is going to be equal to 180 degrees, okay? So let's see how we can work this out. So 90 plus 32 plus 32 is something I'm going to be doing. In, I'm doing in my calculator. 90 plus 32 plus 32. And then 180 minus answer. So I get A is equals to 26 degrees. Now again, this is something that just clicked to me instantly. Like I said, I'm sure there is some other property. In fact, let me see if I can identify what other property I can use here. Um, Okay, I can't really think of any other property, but if you guys can identify it, let me know in the in the comment section. But again, let me see how many marks this is. It's a one mark question, so you really don't have to show any working. You just have to give the final answer. And again, make sure not to uh, make sure to give your answer in the space that's provided to you. And if you are able to find a quicker way of doing this question, do let me know in the comment section. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.